Welcome back to Bridgeview. The last structural milestone is the mid-span closure or the closure of the deck in the middle of the bridge. And to talk a little bit about that process, we have Ralph Salami from Keywood Infrastructure West, the project manager. Hello, Ralph. Hello, Deanne. Thanks for inviting me. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about the deck in general. How many deck segments are there total? And then how much concrete is in the bridge deck? Total. Right, right, right. There are 85 total segments, they're approximately 16 feet in length, and there's over 11,000 cubic yards of concrete in this bridge. Wow, that is amazing. And so, to speak specifically about the mid-span closure, how long was that segment or that closure, and how much concrete was involved in that closure? Right. Uh, the closure itself was a little over 16 feet long, and there's 115 cubic yards in it. Okay, and I, I understand that the process for the mid-span closure was a little bit different than the other closure pours that we had on the east and the west land side. Can you speak a little bit about the process and how it was different? Right, we had to make some adjustments because of the weight of the segments at the in middle of the bridge. So what we did was uh, poured three segments in a row without the deck on it just to keep it light. Huh. And once the girders were all tied together in the middle, then we were able to place the deck and the bridge could hold it up. But it couldn't hold it up until we had those girders all cast and tied in in the middle. Right, so in essence, did you pour the edges first and then the deck segments? Yes, which is different than what we normally do. Typically, we would pour the edge girder and the deck all together. At the same time, gotcha. Yeah. So with the mid-span closure, the structural aspect of Tilikum Crossing is complete, but I'm sure that you're not finished yet. There must still be things on your plate to do. Can you tell us a little bit more about what other tasks maybe are complete and what's left to do before this bridge opens to the public? Sure. It may look complete from downtown, <laughs> but it's far, far from complete from our, from our standpoint. Uh, we still have the barrier to finish. Uh, we have the beautiful stainless steel handrail that goes up on both sides of the bridge for the bike path and, and pedestrian path right. to finish. Mm -hmm. uh, the aesthetic lighting, which will light up the bridge and the cable stays, that still remains. And then an overall dress up and finish up of all the concrete finishes. Right, that punch list of just cleaning and making exactly. it ready. Okay, but the light rail track is actually already installed and finished, correct? Yeah, we finished the track slab actually yesterday. Oh, wow, all right, yes. congratulations, yeah, very nice. You. So the rail is embedded into the bridge now and it's ready for trains, actually. Okay, so once you're complete with your part, you'll then turn the bridge over to TriMet and TriMet will train operators and get it ready really for revenue operations. That's right. All right, That's great. Right. Ralph, thanks so much for your time today and telling us a little bit about this important uh, milestone. Thank you. Thanks all right. for having me. Take care. So that's all the time we have today for Bridgeview. So this is really thank you and goodbye. I've really enjoyed spending time with you and learning about this amazing bridge. And I hope to see you all out on Tillicum Crossing, Bridge of the People. Goodbye.